Balthazar, proclaim this decree. Yes, sir. The prince has spared Horatio's life with an order. Get thee a wife. On bended knee he made his plea, and Margaret, virtuous and just, sighed and said, I guess we must. <laughs> we ask for family, friends, and guests to stay but a while, for anon this midsummer night, two become one with the, with the wedding of Char and Glenn. For those of you stayed on from our merry play, please allow family and guests to sit where they have traveled from afar and need to rest a bit. The ceremony will commence at 11.30, or when the bride is good and ready. <laughs> Thank you. Feeding a flock near to the mountain side. Feeding a flock near to the mountain side. She shared not whither she was gone, the she was missing, she was missing when he found her. Oh, then they found her kissing, oh, then they found her kissing, kissing, oh, then they found her 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 kissing, oh, then She was missing when he found her. Oh, then they found her kissing. 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 Oh, then they here today <laughs> and we will be ready shortly
My lord, it's safe for you to give your daughter to her husband. gather here today in the sight of God and angels and the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words which shall unite Glenn Fernandez and Charlene Malacca in holy matrimony. Who brings this woman to this man? We do. Marriage is a fusion, a promise and a celebration of community. For in marriage we rejoice the union of diversity, the victory of love for which nothing is impossible. We rejoice because these who were separate are now joining and pledging their communion in love. This is a sacred and virtuous bond that inspires us who make up the circle of community around this new family like a ring of love, strength, and never-ending blessing. The bride and groom have asked Jackie, their theater mom, to say a few words on their behalf. The art of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once each day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship shouldn't end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy and giving. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. <laughs> it, it is, is not looking, looking for perfection, perfection in each, each other. other. It is cultivating flexibility patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for things of the spirit. It is a common sense for the good. And the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal. The dependence is mutual and the, the obligation, obligation is, is reciprocal. reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Amen.
The hand which you each offer to the other is an extension of yourselves. Just as the warmth and love which you express to each other cherish the touch, for you are touching another life. Be sensitive to its pulse and try to understand and respect its flow and rhythm, just as you do your own. And now, the matron of honor and best man would like to address the bride and groom. Char, could you please face Glenn and hold his hands, palms up, so you can see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear and grief fill you. They will give you support and celebrate with you in your accomplishments. Char, these hands and this man are given to you today as a precious gift from God. Don't let go. Hold them securely. Hold them gently. And hold them lovingly. Glenn, please hold Shark's hands. Palms up, where you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to fulfill your dreams. These are the hands that will slap you upside your head when you're over. It's getting out of line. Together, as a team, everything you wish for can be realized. At this time, the bride and groom would like to speak their own vows. <laughs> Glenn, I promise to be your best friend and love, to cherish every moment we spend together, even those moments when you need a slap upside the head. <laughs> I will love you forever. I will stand beside you in times of laughter and in tears, during conflict and in tranquility, and in all the ways that life may lead us. Shar, <laughs> I promise to be your best friend in love through the laughter and the tears in slaps upside the head in tranquility, <laughs> loving you forever in all the journeys that life may take us. Ka'el, I promise to accept you and love you as my own son and to protect you and love you all of my life. I promise to do my best to guide and support you and respect you enough to allow you to see the whole world through your own eyes. The match is good. The course of true love should be encouraged, tied fast together, strung like flowers on the same lay needle. Epulikako. Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with great happiness on Glenn and Shar's wedding day as they come before you pledging their hearts and lives to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving 
living together in such a way as to never bring shame or heartbreak into their marriage. Temper their hearts with kindness and understanding. Rid them of all pretense of jealousy. Help them to remember to be each other's sweetheart, helpmate, friend, and guide, so that together they may meet the cares and problems of life more bravely. Lord, today we not only celebrate this marriage, but we also celebrate the formation and affirmation of a family with Ka'el. We pray that you guide Glenn and Shar as parents to raise and teach Ka'el with love and respect, and that you protect this new family and keep them always in your care. And with the passage of time, may the home they are creating today truly be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is ever present. Bless this union, we pray, and walk beside Glenn and Shar throughout all their lives together. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Not only are these two creating a marriage today, but they are also forming a family with Kael. They now wish to show him how much they love him with the gift of a rose. The bride would also like to present her father with one and would like to honor her mother, who is with us only in spirit. you please face each other now and join hands? <laughs> Sweat. Glenn, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage, to love, comfort, and honor her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, so long as you both shall live? Line.
Shard. Shard, do you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, to love, comfort, and honor him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, so long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Traditionally, the status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have just taken. Glenn, repeat after me. Char, Char, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, with all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge my troth. And pledge my troth. Char? Yes. <laughs> Repeat after me, please. <laughs> Glenn, I give you this ring. Glenn, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. With all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And pledge my troth. And pledge my troth. Glenn and Char, in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love for each other by these vows, the giving of these rings and the joining of your hands, I now declare you to be husband and wife. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace always. Congratulations, Glenn. You may now kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Present to you, Mr. Glenn Fernandez and Mrs. Charlene Fernandez. Yeah. 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 Yeah.